and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We gather together today to, to observe Pentecost, the coming of the Spirit, uh, in a more full way. Some of you might know that inside the, the church at San Javier, on the right side of the wall, as you walk in, there's a beautiful painting of the, the scene of Pentecost, where Mary is assembled with the 12 apostles, and they've all got that little tongue of fire uh, above their heads. That's a symbol that we use for Pentecost. Also, um, we gather uh, today to, to uh, observe transition. We'll move from this period into ordinary time. It's, it signifies the end of Easter. In many ways, it's the birth of the church coming of the Spirit and ascending forth of the Apostles, as we'll see in our readings. Let us begin uh, recognizing our own uh, weakness and our own need for God's continued Spirit in our lives. Señor, ten piedad de nosotros. Señor, ten piedad de nosotros. Cristo te piedad de nosotros, Cristo te piedad de nosotros, de nosotros, Señor ten piedad de nosotros, Señor ten piedad de nosotros. mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Gloria, Señor, que reina en el cielo, en la tierra paz a los hombres que aman Él. Señor, te alabamos, Señor, te bendecimos, Todos te adoramos, gracias por tu gloria. Gloria, Señor, que reina en el cielo, en la tierra paz a los hombres que aman. Tú eres el Cordero que quitas el pecado, ten piedad de nosotros y escucho nuestra oración. Gloria al Señor, que reina en el cielo, en la tierra paz a los hombres que aman. Tú solo eres santo, tú solo el Altísimo, con el Espíritu Santo, en la gloria de Dios Padre. Gloria, Señor, que reina en el cielo, en la tierra paz, a los hombres que aman. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. 
and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues of fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in their own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be thy, thy theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come, Holy Spirit, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor. Come, source of all our store. Come within our bosoms shine. You of comforters the best. You the soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment here below. In our labor rest most sweet. Grateful coolness in the heat. Solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours and our inmost being filled, where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew, wash the stains of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, Guide the steps that go astray on the faithful who adore and confess you evermore in your sevenfold gift descend. 
Give them virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the advocate, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. So, I know that a couple of years ago I talked a little bit about this uh, in one of my homilies, but it's certainly worthy of mention again, it's uh, just recounting something that happened back in 2006, October of 2006 to be exact, in Pennsylvania. Ten Amish schoolgirls were killed by a man from outside their community. Um, Maybe some of you remember uh, such a tragic, tragic event, like so many uh, similar kinds of shootings. But in this case, the Amish put their Christian faith, the way that they live their life is is very much centered on on the gospel, on on their Christian faith. And putting their faith first, um, they forgave the murderer. And even before the day it ended, they had forgiven his wife and the man had a couple of daughters too. The man took his own life. and, and then the, the others who he had killed, it was a very tragic event. But it was amazing, uh, something that the world didn't seem to even understand or comprehend, how quickly the community, the Amish community, embraced the suspect's family and forgave. There were actually more Amish, members of the Amish community at that man's funeral uh, than people who knew him. The man who did the shooting had Uh, had lost one of his own daughters nine years earlier. And apparently he remained angry at God and at others and was unable to forgive. Uh, The pain eventually overtook him and uh, this great tragedy erupted. So there's something to be learned from this. You know, the Spirit of God is available to us all uh, by learning about and accepting God, our Creator's love for us, you know, in the person of Jesus Christ, to learn the story of the gospel, you know, what drove missionaries to go to foreign places. We hear about that, the the earliest missionaries being those 12, you know, apostles that were um, filled with the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Jesus was God and man. You know, he was present in the world at one particular time and one particular place. But he promised this spirit of holiness that would go out and that would be uh, available to all who accept, uh, to accept this, this, this great truth and to speak on behalf, speak for those who maybe don't have a voice yet. We think about children, young people who come along every day, there's new people born into the world. They are uh, gonna need to hear the story of Christ and the love that our Creator has for us. So <clears throat> these words of spirit, that Jesus sends out, that can go everywhere. That can, is not bound by time nor by space. It will remind us of what Jesus said and what he did. Uh, Jesus' 
words, which are God's words. Jesus says the words he speaks are the Father's. They come to us from the Creator. Uh, so it's a direction and a plan for us. The coming of the Spirit at Pentecost. Pentecost is the word in the Jewish uh, culture for 50 days. It was a celebration 50 days after their Passover feast. They began to celebrate this once they arrived in the land of Canaan, the Promised Land, and they would begin harvesting. And it was a harvest feast, 50 days, 49 or 50 days. It's that jubilee year, seven times seven, after Passover celebration, they would begin to enjoy the first fruits of the harvest. The apostles were the first Christians and sent to bring this good news to the known world, which was the Roman Empire. Uh, and so they needed to speak other languages. That's symbolized in, in what we see here. So brothers and sisters, this is still our purpose. We are no different than those first apostles. We are all charged, all of the baptized are charged to bring God's love as a remedy to fear and mistrust, to hatred and division. With so much noise and distraction, uh, can we simply learn the gospel, read it ourselves and pray that we too may be filled with this same Spirit of God available to us all, that our hearts may be open to God's will for us individually, and, and so that we may know how we might use uh, the gifts that God has given us to bring the same spirit uh, to others. We make our profession of faith. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Since God endows us with the gift of his own life by imparting the Holy Spirit, let us come to him with prayers inspired by the Holy Spirit. Let us come to him alive and free in the divine presence. For all who have been signed and sealed with the Holy Spirit, that this church may be united as one body made of many parts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the people of the world who do not know God, that the spirit of truth proclaimed to every nation may indeed renew the face of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the outpouring of the spirit of peace, that men and women may know the forgiveness of their sins, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this community gathered by God, that the Spirit who makes holy our Eucharistic gifts may strengthen and refresh us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray too in this time of difficulty and violence that rises up again. We pray for our leaders, civic leaders, church leaders, but especially maybe civic leaders, that they may be touched by the Spirit of, of God's love, the Spirit of holiness, that they might be inspired to bring uh, greater security and peace and leadership, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the souls of the faithful departed that they may be made perfect in the life-giving spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the intention of this Mass, for Christopher Todd Daniel, for whom the Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all-powerful, Receive these prayers from a people made one by the Holy Spirit, who always dwells within us, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Bless the 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that this our sacrifice might be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Santo, Santo, Santo es el Señor, Dios de of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke the bread and shared it with his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección. Ven, Señor Jesús, ven, Señor Jesús. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her blessed spouse Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. <clears throat> Wherever you are, in your hearts, your families, your places of work, communities, I wish you peace, that you may be channels of God's peace. Lamb of God, let's do the quick Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. And may the blessing of Almighty God be upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve God 
and preach the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah.